Vanna Lynch, who played Luna Lovegood, joins me now. I cannot believe it's 20 years since the books came out. I know, that's kind of scary. <laughs> I, I wasn't, I didn't read them till like, uh, Goblet of Fire came out. Right. So it just feels, yeah, but 20 years. I was five, Crazy. that's scary. <laughs> <laughs> so you read the books before you got the part? Yeah, oh, oh big time fan. That must yeah. be brilliant yeah, now, to actually be part of that. It's like you're going right into the book and living it. That's what it felt like to me. It didn't yeah. feel like a job. It was just like, great, just get to play make-believe. <laughs> and she's such an interesting character as well. One of the most interesting in the books, I think. Yeah, I mean, well, that's a statement. They're all very <laughs> interesting in their own way. But, you know, she's a teenager and they're, they're all... Teenagers are crazy. And Luna <laughs> always had that sense of you being herself and not being a poet, not, you know, not not feeling apologetic. No, about not that. at all, not yeah. at all, and just yeah, yeah, paddling her own canoe. I think is I like what that. she did. <laughs> yes, definitely. But you got in touch with J.K. Rowling, didn't you? You were in yeah. hospital. You were you were really ill, and you got in touch with her. And there's been a real friendship between the two of you ever since then. That was before you you even got cast for the film. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, yeah. As, it's, as you say, I was I was sick. I had an eating disorder at the time, and I wrote to her because I felt like Harry Potter was the only thing that really took my mind off it. And it was right. such a gift, um, and Luna especially inspired me because I I think I, a lot of my problems were because I felt odd, I felt weird mm. and um, she made me want to to, to see that that was okay and that was actually yeah. empowering. Um, so yeah, I wrote to her and she wrote back yeah. and we became friends and we became, well, pen friends yeah. before I got the role. Gosh, um, that's incredible, isn't yeah. it? That I mean, an eating disorder is a real tough thing to deal with, but you have, I mean, you look absolutely fine. Things are good. Thank you, yeah, good. Great, yeah, yeah, yeah. good for no, you. I'm that's, all happy that's all behind me. That's I'm grateful really that happened before I be, you know, became part of the movies. Yeah. That would have been difficult to deal with. You it know, would have been actually, you're too. right, you're right, because yeah. going in there, sorted and everything is good. The great thing about Harry Potter is it allows you to do so many other things. Now look, I am very intrigued. Tell me about <laughs> dis Disco Pigs, this is what it's yeah. called. Disco Pigs is a play? Yes. And what is the premise of, of Disco Pigs? Um, <laughs> I love the title. I know the name is pretty <laughs> rad. This beautiful relationship but they're starting to change and my character Runt, they call themselves Pig and Runt, that's where it comes from. Right. She starts to see something else for herself and it's about just this explosion of what happens. Who would you say that it's, it's for? Is it for everyone or is it specifically aimed at teenagers or young um, people or, or could everyone enjoy it? More, more an older audience. Yeah, yeah. The content, yeah, some of the language. Oh, <laughs> yeah, because yeah. there is a sort of secret language that the two characters have got. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, well, it, it is that thing, you know when you have like a very close bond with someone you develop like little, you know, little voices or shorthands oh, sure, or things sure. like Nicknames that. Nicknames and all that yeah, sort of thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is like 17 years of that. So I think the, the, the struggle with the play is the director keeps being like, can't really understand you. You need to slow <laughs> it down because it's also written in a very thick cork dialect. Right. Um, and it's like they're rhyming things. It's, it, it kind of, it takes a moment to get into. I had to read it three times to really understand things. Oh. And even now in rehearsals, I'm like, oh, Oh, well, that's what that means. So. It's one of those, it looks like one of those ones you could go back and see a couple of times to yeah, actually yeah. get into it, I guess. Definitely, hope so, yeah. So are you attracted to these roles that are slightly, just not, not if you're not, not mainstream, but you know, they're Definitely. slightly fey, slightly strange. Yeah, yeah, I, f I find those kind of characters help me a lot and inspire me. People who are just like kind of outsiders, but they own it, you know? Mm. Um, uh, yeah, always inspired by that real originality, that individuality. Yeah. Oh, that's great. And you and J.K. Rowling, I know, do a lot of work together for Lumos, our charity, which is yeah, fantastic. Yeah, I, um, me and Bonnie Wright, who yes. played Ginny, yes. um, we're ambassadors for, for Lumos. And yeah, I just really admired the, the work that they do. And um, they're very, like, they're amazing because they're very realistic about their goals. And mm. it's not just like, don't end us money and we'll do <laughs> good stuff with it. They yeah. are really targeted about their work. It's great. So yeah, and it just it's just something like, you know, Joe cares so much about it and you can see that in her work and it's nice to be with someone who like it's very heart-centered work. You're obviously a good pal because you're allowed to call her Joe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> Which but is fantastic. <laughs> it's great to see you. Good luck with Disco Thank Pigs you. at Trafalgar. Yes, and we, and when studios. can you see that? 12th, 12th of July 12th of till July. 19th of August. Ivana, August. thank you thank very you much indeed. Me. And gosh, I can't believe it's 20 years since those first, that first book was published. <laughs> and all those children that now read because of her, it's just great. Yeah, thank I you. know. And new generations yeah, coming yeah, on. All the time. All the time. Thank yeah. you.